You people that think, uh, what's Nate talking about? The keys to the kingdom, the Illuminati, the white man, man. Shh, you a fuck, man. That's why the most I got you shook up like that, man. That's why the most I got you shook up like that, Nate. Got you like a shake and bake meal, okay? Because you want to just be, you want to you wanna deceive the people, man. Not just damning yourself, you're damning the other people, all right? So let's play this real quick. Right here's a video of uh because these devils going underground and stuff. So I'm gonna let this play in and I'm gonna get some scripts for it. Washington DC, huh? Goes all the way to Washington DC. I don't know. Yeah, you Homeland Security? No. Yeah. How far have you taken this down to, uh, how far have you actually ran a load? Uh, 100 miles? Maine. Up to Maine? No shit. How many miles do you think that is? That's unbelievable. Not All to right, mention, if I you know. don't get what he just said, um, this tunnel he's at, to let you know that these devils are on the ground, this tunnel he's at, it goes to Maine, and uh, it's like 1,200 miles underground, and then a semi-truck. Alright? This is where these devils are trying. They're already ready, man. So you, you jakes that, you Israelites that don't want to wake up, you want to keep playing around and keep thinking this is no game, and... The devil's already ready for you, man. He's ready to let this thing, he can crack off at any time. Okay, the most is only sustaining it for the elect. Uh, there's one that goes all the way to Colorado, right? Unbelievable. What do you think you're hauling? Any idea? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Crap makes all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I know there's been a lot of military stuff being hauled around lately, that's for sure, huh? Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I appreciate. I heard this water supply, food supply, everything's in there. Yeah, unbelievable. No. Peace, brother. Yeah. You, you see how they let these eat this this random Edomite walk around there? Let that be some Jake. That's some Jake be at the entrance of this. They would have done call security, had him hemmed up. You would have been, you never heard it from that Jake again. And you see the trucks, man. You see the size of the I mean, Basically, you got an underground road, roadway system here that, that runs all the way to Maine, to Washington, D.C., to Colorado. It's fully stocked. Uh, it runs completely underground, um, and you can see they've been hauling tons of military equipment. Um, you know, they're stocking all these bases. Now, the other thing is, the railroad system here is also very strategic. They're bringing in box car loads, and they're dump shipping here, and they can really deliver to all these locations, which... Go all the way to Area 51. These locations go all the way to Washington, D.C. There's access underneath the White House to this location. Okay? So, this is a strategic location, which is really the new command center for the Illuminati and the United States government. Well, forget the United States government. This is the headquarters for the Illuminati. This is where they'll ship most of their supplies. Alright. We gonna get into it real quick, man. Um, let's read some of these scriptures for you. I got um, Amos. This is Amos 9 and 
and and this things that's happening, man, is for the better, because they have to go down, man. If if they knew that the Most High coming was for their benefit, why would they hide? If they knew the second coming was for their benefit, why would they be underground? Why would they need to be storing up food if they knew the coming of the Lord was so gracious unto them? But this is Amos 9 and 2, and it says, Though they dig into hell, thence will my hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, thence will my hand bring them down. This script is designed for these elites in these last days. Though they, because really we were, we were digging into hell in the past, but not like this. We didn't have, how you say, 1,200 miles of road underground that's strictly underground in bunkers until now, until these days, okay? Because we've now had the technology to do it. And it says, though they dig into hell, thence shall my hand take them. Though they climb into heaven, thence will my hand bring them down. Though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, Carmel was a mountain, uh, or is a mountain, I will search and take them out thence. And though they dig, though they be hid from my sight at the bottom of the sea, thence will I command a serpent, and he will, shall bite them, okay? And what's that serpent? Leviathan. And that, that's why they have under underwater bases, which we know that. There was not possible to build uh, an underwater base back in the time of uh, 2,000 years ago when this was written. There was not, the technology was not able to go underground and stay there for a long period of time. So how are you going to hide from the Lord back then if you didn't have no oxygen tank? It's talking about now, man. This is the prophecy for these days. It says, um, and though, this is verse 3, Amos 3 and 9, or 9 and 3. It says, though they, and though they did hide themselves at the top of Carmel, I will search and take them out thence. And though they be hid from my sight at the bottom of the sea, thence will I command the serpent, and he shall bite them. And though they go into captivity before their end, uh, that's it on that. Yeah, that's it on that. Um, let's jump now to Job. Jump to the book of Job 34 and 22. This is Job 34 and 22. And this is what the Most High said to them, man, because he knew what they'd be doing in these last days. Because the, after you do all this wickedness, of course you're going to hide. Of course you're going to want to hide. This is Job 34 and 22. And it says... There is no darkness nor shadow of death where the workers of iniquity may hide themselves. You hear that? Read that again. It's a good verse to end out. Job 34 and 22. And it says, let's start at 21. For his eyes are, for his eyes are upon the ways of man, and, his, and, he, and he seeth all his goings. There is no darkness nor shadow of death where the workers of iniquity may hide themselves. For he will not lay upon the man more than right that he should either enter. That's it on that. But there ain't no way you hide, man. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom. All praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honest to the L as a GMS. Much love to you elect brethren out there, man. With that all faith and honesty. We're almost out of here. You just got to keep pushing. All right. I hope you brothers was edified. Shalom.